host me again back again with another video for y'all today this is me showing y'all what kind of person am I uh, let's see if y'all met me in real life you would have thought of me as a freak or something like that <laughs> but apart from social media and etc cetera, etc cetera, I'm just a down-to-earth guy who appreciates the finer things in life and like I said in previous videos and does not give a rip on what people think I'm sure I have a passion for the outdoors and everything but good grief Okay, but you got to picture this now. I mean, do you really have to have a duck fit over an ex-employee? I mean, good grief. All because of their political opinions? I mean, good grief. I mean, just let bygones be bygones. Good grief. This is pathetic. I mean, we're all adults here. And like I said in previous videos, grow the heck up. Hmm. And like I said, to answer your questions, I'm just a guy who enjoys simple things in life. Just a simple man. I mean, you mean to tell me a person's gonna have a fit over a doggone moonshine all because somebody else who is here state-wise who legally makes it but no, they don't say nothing about people making weed over it. I mean, good grief. Good grief. I mean, moonshine is just liquor. I mean, good grief. There's already companies out there who make moonshine. But they don't say nothing about people making weed. Messed up society, people. Messed up society. I mean, good grief. I mean, what's this world come to where you have to lock all your doors like Fort Knox? I mean, it's getting to the point where I'll just, I'll just have a fit and people think, think I'm some sort of psychopath and they'll literally lock you up for it. I mean, good grief. I mean, that's all I'm asking for in this world. <sighs> what, gothic fashion-wise? Me, I try to mix my gothic fashion up, try to change it up a bit. You can basically just say I'm updating my fashion, to say the least. And like I said in my previous video. Yeah. Basically, YouTube had a duck fit over for copyright infringement. For what? Of what? Oh, because I was watching... I was reacting to Giant Gonzalez, a wrestler that stayed around from the late 80s to the early 90s. I mean, good grief. That's all I'm asking for here, people. A little competition ain't gonna kill you. No, whatever. Bunch of pissants need to have their asses kicked. Bunch of spooled pissants never had their asses kicked when they were kids, but their parents did nothing about it. That's what modern day parents need to do, kick their parents' asses, and I don't give a rip what hipsterell in the corner there says. Kick their kids' asses. Money ain't gonna buy you happiness, like myself and many others said. 
It's had many years before me, in fact. It's called the fact. Try it sometime. <sighs> if you saw my background, you thought I lived in the 1990s instead of the 2000s. Cassettes, heavy set computers, big TV. Watched every Western film with my grandfather. Like I said previously, old Western films from the 50s and 60s, like John Wayne and Clint Eastwood, those guys, they were. The bomb. I mean, I mean, you can learn from what the past could have easily fixed many years ago, but no, they don't fix. No, they don't fix it. I mean, good grief. Back then, people weren't scared of competition, but now everybody has a duck fit over because somebody next door start, sold something cheaper and ten times better than you are. I mean, good grief. Just give me a freaking break here, people. Grow the heck up. I basically just stay stuck in my own times and don't and, and just don't follow trends because it's just like why do I even bother stuff's like ice bucket challenge and crap like that that it's just a bunch of bucket of ice bucket of water with ice you're just dumping over your head I mean I'm like that's it Grief. Mm -mm -mm. Don't worry, there's more there's more biblical study coming out when I get around it. I mean, it's like when I was first starting out as spiritual wise, I would listen to like left and right wing conspiracy theorists who use the Lord as a wet nap to benefit them. I mean, it's like good grief, it's just a bunch of blah, blah, blah. I mean, I feel like I'm watching high school for adults here. I mean, good grief. I'm not asking for the freaking world here, people. I was watching Phil Robertson's channel on a shit. And then I was going through one of those videos where he talked about his lifestyle and about his struggles growing up and how he met a priest that told him just love God and love your neighbor and just make a valiant attempt to be good. I mean, you could go to anybody in the, there and they would babble on about how, how you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. And I'm I'm half I'm half passed over people saying, Oh, heavy metal's the devil's music. 
I'm like, how long y'all been using that? How come fellow Christians are getting involved, huh? And people just go red in the face and not even answer a direct question. And, and then like a month after, they just sob on social media. I mean, good grief. Ridiculous. And Phil Robertson, I think he talked about certain verse 12 to Romans. The hungry, you feed them. No, and don't trade evil for evil. I'm like, hmm. I'm sitting there thinking, hmm, okay. We'll see if I'll give it a try. Try it, but I'm going to stay on edge just in case if they're not good towards me. Y'all notice previously I would respond with comments towards that, but let's just say I'm just bar I'm barely on social media now. It, you can b just basically say I'm just divorcing myself from social media drama, but I do keep a watchful eye on the world and separate what is fact and what is fiction. People focus way too much on fiction and fact. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I'm not, and like I said, I'm not asking for the freaking world here, people. Grow the heck up. Act like a bunch of kid. Y'all act like a bunch of kids. Whoever said being Christ-like was easy. And like I said in my channel page, disclaimer, I divorce myself. I'm breaking stereotypes because everybody tries to stereotype my faith. It's like these people that are stuck in these white picket fence and that's not the case. I mean, good grief. And I'm at the point where I barely watch TV. I just turn the drama off and just act like nothing happened. But I do enjoy spreading the gospel. I enjoy, I enjoy it. It's talking about the gospel to y'all, mostly. marriage that's something that's been on my mind for some time but like I said hope you enjoy like subscribe and I'll see y'all next video